Good morning from Epcot. Yeah, today we are robe dropping Epcot, yes. and we have a goal. We do have a goal in mind. You know, we've done flower and garden. We do the rides all the time. So today we are going to try to see how many characters we can meet in a short amount of time. Yeah. So we are rope dropping. Park opens at 9, and we are trying to be out of here between 2 and 3 o'clock. So we don't have all day and hopefully this will also give you a good idea of what characters there are in Epcot. I do have a little bit of a plan because a lot of those characters, like they're not just out all day. You know right. what I mean? They have these times where they meet and then they take breaks. So I have a note in my phone of our priority characters and their, yep. their times that they're meeting so that I can just go through the list and check it off. So I'm very well prepared and I suggest that you do that too. Check out the My Disney Experience app. Make sure you go under Epcot, go under characters. You can see the full list of characters and their meeting times because if you have certain ones you want to meet, and we always have this issue where we'll walk up and be like, let's meet Jasmine today. We have yet to meet Jasmine. It's like, <laughs> Jasmine's on a break or she won't be back until this time, and we always miss it. So it's good to have a plan. Yeah. We have a plan. We have and an itinerary. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to just spend the whole day meeting characters. I just had a great idea. Yeah. If our itinerary for today works really well, I think we can put it in the description and you guys could follow our itinerary and meet all the same characters we meet. Yeah, we can put the characters and what time that we met them because yeah. I do kind of have like a plan so that it has a nice flow and yeah. we're hoping that it works out, fingers crossed. But what is our goal? Like, let's see how many characters we can meet. I mean, I think we're going to meet at least 12. I think 12 is good. 15 is going to be extra because right now we have, what, 12 on our list? We have 12 on our list, but that doesn't include some of those random areas where you can sometimes right. get like four of them. Sometimes there's some over by the America Pavilion on yeah. the Joffrey's location side and there's also some always some in International Gateway so yeah, and take I a didn't little walk over there right. in our list so that's just hoping that there's some extra so we're saying 12 is our goal let's see how many we can actually do and let's see who we get to meet today I'm ready I'm ready let's go all right guys the gates to Epcot have opened everyone is making their way to all of their favorite rides that they like to rope drop <laughs> And we are gonna go off and find some characters. Well, we are at our first stop for our first character. Yep. We are waiting for Moana currently. She doesn't start until 9.30. Now, sometimes you can catch some characters at main entrance. Yeah. Sometimes like Minnie, Goofy, Pluto we've seen out there, but when we just rope dropped, no one was out there, so we just kept it moving. So I wasn't gonna wait around. Um, so Moana starts at 9.30. A lot of them don't start until 9.30. Yep. So we are currently second in line for Moana. And then Asha also starts at 9.30. So our goal was to kind of do this, because it's a little bit out of the way. Right. And then maybe go, and if we can get in and get out of here quick enough, go over and hit Asha before she takes a break. And then we're gonna head into the country. Yeah, then we'll start our, our journey around the countries. Yeah. Hi, Moana! Oh my gosh, <laughs> the biggest hug! Thanks! Have you all seen Hey Hey anywhere? No. You definitely gotta keep an eye over him. But this morning he was doing so good! We went on our boat, he even sat down on the boat and said, stay! And he said, fuck! And I was like, oh, great! But then, as soon as we got out here, he jumped right off the boat and into the water and was like, hey hey! <laughs> and started walking away. I think he's looking for some rocks today. Well, what about you? Do you think you can look for Hey Hey today? Do you think you can find him? No. What? I think I can find him. If you can't see him, you'll definitely hear him. Because he I wonder him. what's in there. Oh, there's nothing in there anymore, I see. Remember? It used to hold the heart of yeah. Timmy But we restored the heart. And everything's pretty great back in what's in there now. Well, what about you all? Are you on a big voyage too? Well, good luck. And if you see Hey Hey on the way, let I me know. I see him! Oh, there he is! Oh, there is Hey Hey! Hey five! We found Hey Hey! Well, keep an eye out for him. Make sure he doesn't wander off, okay? <laughs> All right, my friends, let's stand together. Can you put your hands on your hips like So we're on our walk from Moana to go see Asha. And right here in the, I forget what this area is called. Um, it's right by the Epcot Ball. We found Pluto and there's no line. There's just a few people around him. So we're gonna stop real quick and say hi to Pluto. Pluto! Hi there. Hi, look at your ears. You two look amazing. Got some sparkles too, just like Minnie Mouse. And what do you say if Pluto had a lot more sparkles on his collar? What Pluto, do you think? Pluto wants yes. ears. Yes. <laughs> I think Pluto would look fabulous with some sparkles. I think so too. <laughs> Pluto, let's take a picture. Oh, 
pose for a picture. Well, we got over to where Asha was supposed to be meeting, um, but she wasn't there. They said she was running a little late. She was stuck in the city. I don't know if that means Orlando and she's stuck in traffic. I think it means her city. From oh, her, her, her I gotcha. <laughs> okay, that would make more sense then. Yeah, so you always have to like just be able to pivot if something doesn't go as planned. So you have to be able to pivot and like do something else if something doesn't work. So we can try to check back on her later, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to make that a priority because we have other things to do. So we're heading into the countries and there's nothing in Canada. No. So we're going to keep going and get to our next character. Well, we have made it to the UK area and we are going to go meet Pooh, but Pooh is a little bit hidden. So if you don't know where Pooh is, you're going to have to actually come down this little street in the UK area, right by the toy store, the toy soldier store and follow it around to the little garden area. And then you're gonna have to walk all the way to the back in the corner to find Christopher Robin's room where Winnie the Pooh meets. You'll know it's here because you'll see this number 30 on top of a green awning. There might not be a line because not many people know about it, but he's here. Look who it is, hey Pooh. It is so cool in here, Pooh. Hey, Pooh, can you show us around? Oh, is this the bed? This is Christopher Robin's bed. Oh, look at the window. Oh, is that the 100 Acre Woods out there? That's the 100 Acre Woods, so cool. Look, look, May. Books, I think there's the Winnie the Pooh book there, too. Who do you like to read while you eat some honey? Yeah. Come on, Ooh. Oh, that's where Pooh gets ready. Ooh, showers. You're looking great today. Looking good. Do you girls want to take your picture? Yes. All yes. right. Maggie, come on. Post your picture. Big smiles, Maggie girl. And when you come out of the meet and greet, you're going to come into the little toy soldier store. And it is so cute in here. They have all your Winnie the Pooh stuff that you would want to find. There's also this Kid Cot Fun Stop here. But oh, look at this little Pooh. It's just so cute. They have some nice Peter Pan stuff over here as well. And on this side, you'll find all the Pooh favorites. Eeyore, Pooh, Tigger. Piglet. Oh, I love these ears. Maggie has these ears. This is so cute too. Oh, bother. So also in the UK pavilion, you do have the opportunity to meet Alice in Wonderland at this cute little cottage right here. So we are just waiting for a few moments and then she will be out to meet us. <laughs> Come say I know hi. I like your dormouse ears. Now with those extra ears, I bet you can hear the flowers sing twice as loud, yes. Yeah. And you know, maybe we could get a pair for the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> hi, Cheshire Cat. Do you know the Cheshire Cat? Yes. He's pink and purple. Just like you two today. <laughs> I bet he would quite like you two. Maybe we could invite him to the next tea party. I wonder what's behind the door. You know, I was wondering to you, I was thinking maybe the white rabbit's in here. That's you know, what I thought. You know, he's been late for all of our tea parties so far. <laughs> but you know, the trouble is, usually when I need to get through a locked door, I just shrink down very small and go through the keyhole. But there's no keyhole, so I don't know what we should do. <laughs> maybe we should pull here and, or push it. Hmm. But no. it's locked. Well. <laughs> well, there is a window. Oh, and there's one up here too. What if we grow very, very big, and then we lift someone up, and you can just climb right on in? That mm. could work, I think so. <laughs> now, would you like to grow very, very big so you can get all the way up there? Oh, perfect. We'll just have to find some biscuits first. We'll make the hatter try them first, though, to make sure they're the ones that make you grow and not the ones that make you shrink. But I suppose if you shrunk down very small, you could probably just fit right under the door, so that could work, too. It looks like the door, doesn't, grow, the door doesn't have a crack. Oh, goodness. Well, I suppose we'll just have to grow then. We'll make sure the hatter tries those biscuits then. Okay. <laughs> now, do you think we can take a portrait all together? 
Well, we've made our way out of the UK. We have entered France, and we're going to meet Aurora just up here on the way into Remy's Ratatouille adventure. <laughs> Hi, Hi, princess. Yes, we do. What do you have? We have a dog and a cat. Do they get along? Yes. They do. <laughs> Sometimes. They each other around. Usually. Sometimes. I bet they would chase my forest friends around, don't you think? Are you the queen? No, I'm still the princess. <laughs> my mother's the queen. Just like she is, right? That's right. <laughs> the queen is right here. <laughs> yes. Good job, Dad. <laughs> My little princess. Can I hold your hand? Smile, girls. Maggie, look at mommy. Maggie. And I love your outfits, too. I suppose your enchanted wardrobes picked them out for you, didn't they? That's the wardrobe. <laughs> I guess do I kind of sing am. opera like Madam too. Um, oh, she does. I can does. sing a little bit, but she does it much better than I do. Maggie, do can you show her your wardrobe? Your oh, ready? Do it. Oh, Madam No, you remember in the Enchanted Tales with Belle, and you got the wardrobe because you said, "Oh, do it." I can do it. Oh. She's like. Perfect. <laughs> well, you'll have to try us back at the castle again. Maybe you can all harmonize together. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, teacups, do you think we could all smile together? Okay. <laughs> He's scooching clothes. Maggie, oh, look at mommy. So we are in the Boulangerie Patisserie, and I am looking at all of these delicious desserts. They look fabulous. Absolutely amazing. Please, look at all these delicious sandwiches they have. We're not here for sweets today, guys. We are here to get a breakfast item that is actually available all day, and it is this, croissant jamon fromage. So the Boulangerie Patisserie has some amazing treats, as you can see. Steve got a bread. I got a half a baguette. I couldn't pass it up. It was two dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah. So for a Our fresh kids baked, love some bread. Yeah, fresh baked baguette. I couldn't say no. Well, I'm starving, so I can't wait to dig into our little brunch here. There's yeah. croissant. It looks so good. It smells so good. It, it smells I can, amazing. It's nice and warm. I yep. can feel it on the bottom of the plate there. So let's Why dig don't you in. Just go ahead. I'll hold the plate. You let me know what you think here. Oh, the croissant is literally like so soft. <laughs> Can we hear the crunch in that bite? Mmm. Amazing. So good. So this is a ham and cheese croissant awesome. with bechamel okay, as well you. inside. I have like croissant on me. A little bit. No, it's so good, so flaky. The croissant is perfect and the ham and cheese inside is delicious. Now, this does get a long line. It, it is a very popular spot. So if you want something from here, you're just going to have to wait it out. <laughs> I, I, I waited probably, what, 15 minutes? Something like About that, 15 yeah. 15 minutes, but it's worth the wait. Yeah. I, it really is. You're never going to find something so fresh that is literally ma pretty much made in France. Everybody who works here is from France. Yes. So this is authentic. Yes. Well, our next princess that we're going to meet is the girl's favorite. We're going to meet Jasmine in yeah. Morocco. <laughs> and she's a little hidden. You have to go yep. into Morocco pretty far to find her. But she is back there she's and back she has there. a really cool room. It's so gorgeous. we are so excited to see her. And then our goal is to try to catch Snow White in Germany who has the same exact meet and greet time. Right. So, so we have to run. We're going to get get this done and then we're going to truck it over to Germany. Yep. Hi, Jasmine. Luna Bell. Are you Princess Luna Bell? I have to say, I like the hairs that the guns there. Yeah. Maybe I can send you your own magic card. You can see a whole new world in two minutes and thirty. That would be great. How's Aladdin? 
Ben's doing one with his Yeah, we love Raja. <laughs> well, we made it to Germany. Yeah. In the nick of time the because the line time. recently got shut off. No. Yep. But we are yes. next. Yes, to we're going Snow White. I love it. I can't wait. Do you all have some forest friends at home who borrowed their ears today? <laughs> I have lots of forest friends at home. They're very good at tidying up around the house. Do your forest friends like to tidy too? I think she's a little bashful, she yeah. A little bit. I feel like Snow White is always so great. Like her voice and her mm -hmm. in characterness is always perfect. I, I agree. She's always in character. Yeah. She sounds like Snow White. Yeah, we've time. we've always had like great interactions with Snow White. So now we are walking through that little refreshment outpost Africa area, trying to get to China because it is 12:29 and Mulan was supposed to start around 12:25. So I think that we will be able to catch her and I then we'll I think we'll be okay for Mulan. And then my goal is to catch Donald's 1230 because if I don't get Donald's 1230, I will not be able to get Donald. And then that's kind of going to wrap it up. Yeah. Well, we have one last one to meet. If um, we can if try we can to meet Asha. It. But we will try. We will try. See We're going to see. See if the timing works out. And then there were no characters at main entrance when we came in. So we were going to peek again before we leave to see yeah. if anyone's out there. But if not. We will just have to be happy with whoever we got today. I am, I'm, I'm already happy with Yeah, I feel like we got, got so many. So like it, it was a successful day. We've done some great meetings. Yeah. So off to China, we're almost there. And I think we'll be just fine. Yep. Okay, so we found Mulan in China. I wasn't sure where she was. I thought, we thought she had an outside meet and greet spot, but apparently she's inside. So it's very easy to get to. You're gonna walk in right over here under the arches and then you're gonna come straight up that walkway to this little building behind me. And you're gonna walk in and she's gonna be right on your left. This gorgeous, gorgeous artwork in here. Look at that gold piece in the ceiling. Just beautiful in here. So this is also the building for Reflections, the show that they do here in China, the 360 Circle Vision Show. And this is the waiting area for it. And then you go in through the doors. And then over here to my left is Mulan. Hello, the warriors. Come on over. Would you like to join me right this way? Oh my goodness, you both look wonderful today. I see we're matching with our little pants and our little wall patterns on our little warrior dresses and your training shoes too. Well, you know, I think I'll have to take you to the Imperial City one day. And we'll have to go shopping for some matching training shoes too. So we can learn some moves together, right? And maybe you can come say hello to Mushu and Cricky, all of my friends oh, together. Oh, how is Mushu? Oh, he's doing wonderful, being silly as always. Now, today I think he's playing hide and go seek with Cricky. So maybe you can... Yeah, he's doing good. Now, are you good at playing hide and go seek too? Yes. Yes, do you think you can help me find Mushu next time? Perhaps? Yes. Wonderful. We'll have to go play a game of hiding go seek together next yes. time then. We'll just have to make sure Cricky doesn't hide in the tea again. <laughs> Perfect. Well, should we all take a warrior portrait together? Well, we made it to Mexico. Yeah, it's like almost one o'clock yeah. and they said Donald will be stepping away to take about a five minute break and he'll be right back. So that's great because the other time that I had up was like 2.40 or something. So it's, it's like if we work. can't get him around 12.30, 1 o'clock, we might not make it at all. But luckily we will get Donald and then we will see who else we can catch after this. But I mean, we really are doing well. We're doing good. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm proud of us. I'm very proud of us. And like, I think what we should do in the description is put like where we started and like the times that we call all the characters. So you right. can kind of see the flow that we took around World Showcase. Yeah, that works. Oh, Donald.
Ooh, Maggie, move up. Well, we are in the Royal Summer House. We are. Because um, after Donald, we just got lucky that the wait time for Anna and Elsa, which is usually really long, has been low. It's been low all day. So it was 15 minutes earlier. This yeah. is 25 minutes. But either way, this is an awesome meet and greet. It's one that we weren't really like planning on doing because we didn't think that the wait time would be low. Right. So this is great. It was like on my list, but it was like a possible skip depending on the timing. And luckily, we are like super close it's very loud in here it is. <laughs> so we're gonna just wait until we get in to see the princesses Thank you more hugs. oh hi sweet sisters you girls look wonderful today so beautiful and springy and summer Olaf would love these looks now I do like the winter but the spring and summer are still beautiful what about you girls what's your favorite season I think winter. Winter? Oh my goodness, she's an ice queen too. Where's Olaf? He's at the beach. But don't worry, before he went to the beach, I gave him a nice permafrost. The only thing melting around here are frozen hearts, right queens? That's right. Have you girls ever been to the beach? Yes. You have? What did you do while you were at the beach? Well, um, we swam in the water and we made a sand castle. Loves you Elsa, maybe yes. one day you can come with us and we can make an ice castle. I would love that. We could do sand castles on the side and next to it we could do a little ice castle. Like that one. Yes. Maybe we could do that one and then we could decorate it with ice crystals. Maybe some sea salt. I want to do that too. Yes. Do you like it? Thank you. That's some of my best work, you know. I'm honored that you like it. Yeah, we built an ice castle at the beach. We definitely need to add something extra fun. What if we did an icy sculpture of a mermaid outside the ice castle? Yes! Is that a good idea? I think so. Okay, we're going to add seashells. We're going to do an ice sculpture of a mermaid. What else could we add to our icy beach house that we're building? Hmm. I don't know. That's tricky. Hmm. A starfish? Yes! I think so, too. We'll ask Olaf. He's kind of our resident beach expert at this point since he's always going. So I'm sure he'll have good ideas. Wow, we have the sparkliest antlers on today. I love this. Flowers. Yeah, that's where I live. You're always welcome to visit Arendelle anytime you want if you'd like to. But I'm going to be honest, Ben is going to get very jealous of your antlers. Normally we decorate his antlers with lots of icicles, but because of the summer sun today, he feels so quickly. But we use bows instead to decorate his antlers with because thankfully bows don't melt, which is perfect. <laughs> Uh, some bows for Sven, and we can decorate them. Would you like that? We have lots of bows. Oh, perfect. What color do you think they look tightest? We do have um, antlers. Really? Oh, I mean, I've never tried decorating his antlers with more antlers, but we can always try something new. As long as it doesn't melt in the summer sun, I think we'll be perfectly okay with it. We have bunny ears, too. Oh, I think that would be perfect for the spring season. Well, as long as it makes him a happy reindeer, which pretty much anything does. As long as you don't decorate his antlers with carrots, because then he'll try to eat them. And that's a good snack, not a good decoration. <laughs> well, here, let me hold this hand. Can I hold this hand? Say freeze. Say freeze. So we stopped in Kringla Bakery real quick for a little treat. Um, we also needed some coffee, so they have a couple of coffees here that we're going to try and share them with you as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to stop in here for a good old school bread. Well, it's been a little while since we've gotten a school bread, but it is a classic and it is one of our favorites. Um, I did try my Kristoff coffee too. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so, so good. I want to see if it's like the Viking coffee just without the alcohol? I believe it is. Like it, When I looked at the ingredients, they're very similar. So the Viking coffee has vodka. It? it tastes like Kahlua to me. Oh, yeah, it might be. I, it, it's been two years since I've had one of those. <laughs> I don't drink anymore. But I got yeah. the crisp off and said it was delish. So let's dig into our school bread. Mm. Mm. Very good. Now I love, they, I love oh, this custard. I do too. Like they have so many really great pastries in there. I know what we say. I'm gonna try something new. I didn't know what else to get. I was like, well, let's just get the school bread. 
Well, just because I know I love it, but I have had the rice cream before, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a rice pudding with strawberries. That's really great. Next time I'm going to be adventurous, so and I am going to try something other than this. I've had bread. the chocolate fringla. You have? That's like the pretzel paste. Yeah, right? I really want to try the lefsa too one okay. day because I think that they serve the lefsa as dessert at Acker Shoes for lunch oh, and dinner. Okay. Um, but that looks really good too, and it's, I've heard really good things about it at Acker Shoes. But yeah, this is a great little snack option over here, and because they have coffee. Right. So if you need a midday pick-me-up, it's the place to stop. <laughs> well, we are here at our final character meet and greet for the day. Yeah, and we are actually going to meet Asha. Yes. It did not work out this morning. But we were able to get in line for the 150 time because yep. we were finishing up over in Norway. So it just worked out. Um, but I feel like we did really well. Anna and also yeah. was on our list as a possibility of 12 characters. And Asha, once we check her off, will be the 12th character that we met today. The only characters we didn't meet were like Mickey and Minnie over by the Short Film Festival, short film right? Festival and Figment. And the Imagination Pavilion. Yep. They usually have Joy and Vanellope Von Schweetz and, and Figment. Yep. Um, and then sometimes it was main gate characters, but we did everybody that there is to do in World Showcase. Yeah. And then um, we had Moana and Pluto in the beginning. So yeah. I feel like we did really well. I hope that this helps you see like how many characters there really are. And we didn't catch any of the ones at International Gateway or America no. Pavilion either, which sometimes you can catch some cool ones there. Yeah, you can. Um, we'll pop in a couple here that we caught in America before that were awesome that you don't get to see all the time. <laughs> but there are so many characters to meet here, and I feel like you do have to play it a little bit you do, you in order for it, it to work <laughs> because again, usually we walk up and they're like I'm sorry they're taking a break right. so we never catch them on time so and again we will link our plan that we had down in the description below yep. um, you don't have to be here right at rope drop because nobody really starts meeting until 9 30 right. so you can get here right about nine a little bit after yeah and, and then you would and greet probably be able to catch those main gate characters because yeah, they would. were not out right at nine right <laughs> so let's go meet Asha and then we will you know and our, day and our day in Epcot. It's yep. getting hot and I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in Epcot and you're looking for Asha, she does her meet and greet right as you come into World Showcase. Right behind me is Disney Traders and right across from that is Asha. Hello, stars. Welcome. Hello. Come on over, my little ones. What are your names? Hi. I'm Luna Bell. Luna Bell? That is so beautiful. Maggie. And Maggie. It's nice to meet you. Come on over, girls. <laughs> First of all, I love that you guys are wearing pink and purple. Those are my favorite colors. But what do you think? Should we get Valentina to wear something pink and purple? Should we get Star to make it? I'm not sure if you remember this, but Star is really good with a ball of yarn. Maybe Star can make Valentina some pink and purple pajamas? You think you think Valentina will look really handsome? She would love pajamas, yeah, too. Yeah, what do you think? Should we have Star look. make you some pajamas, too? Sit like next to Yeah, you guys. I have some Pajamas. You do? Oh, that's her favorite thing to wear, pajamas. Yeah. Pajamas? She's a pajama girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am too. I like purple pajamas. What about you? Mm, mm. I want teal. Teal pajamas? That's cute. I think we can make that happen. Star can do anything hey, with any color ball. Pink and purple. You like pink and purple? Mm -hmm. Then I think that's what we'll have to do, right? Teal and green. Teal and green. That's a good that's a good combo of colors. All right, well, that wraps up our character video. Yeah. So we were able to see 12 characters in five hours, which I don't think is bad because that is more than two characters an hour. Yeah, so timing, I feel like we did pretty good. It worked out the way we kind of planned it. We had one hiccup and had to push Asha to the back. Yeah. And I think it's great. We yeah. get to end with one of the newest Disney characters. Right. And we still got to see her, so it's fine. And, you know, we didn't get to do everybody. We got to do a majority. And those ones in World Showcase, I feel like, are the hardest ones to time right yeah so i'm glad that our plan worked i'm so happy to share it with you guys i hope you loved seeing all these characters maybe you saw some that you didn't even know that they had in epcot right. so as always thank you so much for watching we appreciate everybody who watches our videos all 10 of you <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to follow us on instagram florida yes. underscore fabulous because we do post stories and reels and we like to you know talk with you guys on there too as always stay, stay fabulous, fabulous. Thank you.